A new report examines the role of families in nurturing vocations to the priesthood and religious life. A Georgetown University group surveyed more than 1,000 men and women religious and about 1,000 priests and seminarians. The group then contacted the respondents' family members. This research shows there are no typical families, but there are major trends. More than half of men and women religious attended Catholic school at some point. Two in three religious say their family attended mass or religious services weekly. And two in three report their family gathered at least once a week for an activity other than a meal, such as a game night. Dr. Mary Gautier is the uh, author of this study, a senior research associate at the Center for Applied Research in the Apostolate at Georgetown University, or CARA for short. So what were the main family practices that helped to bring these vocations to their fruition? Sure, it's kind of the things you would expect, things that help build Catholic identity in children and help nurture a culture of Catholicism in the family. Things like going to Mass on a regular basis, praying together as a family, being active in parish life, um, also talking about your faith with your family members, and then bringing up vocations. There was a time, probably quite a few years ago, when to have a priest or a religious in your family was a big deal. Our culture has changed so much that there's often resistance to that in a family. Do you find that anyone actually gets into these vocations when they meet that, or do they need the support of their family? Well, the so support of the family certainly helps. And we find that most of these uh, men and women religious and priests and seminarians um, say that their family has been supportive of them. Most, most commonly their parents or siblings, um, sometimes those farther out in the family have some, uh, a little more problem supporting a vocation. A little, it, it's a, still a little countercultural. I think it is. What do you believe would be the major takeaway from the results of this survey? Well, I, I, the major takeaway to me, it was a surprise that even these men and women religious and priests and seminarians, more than half of them said that starting a conversation about their vocation with their family was difficult for them. But if their family member, one or the other family members, had already spoken to them about a vocation, um, then two and three said that starting a, the conversation with their family wasn't that difficult. So if mom were to say, have you ever thought of being a priest? Exactly. It would come a lot easier than for them to go, you know, to start and to initiate. At least to bring God into the conversation about what are you going to do when you grow up? What about parish support? Does your, did your survey address that at all, the parish family, how it might be supportive of vocations among its congregation? Um, this particular study was dealing specifically with families, but other care research shows that, yes, parish support is also important. And it's also important for family members to be involved in the parish. That makes a difference in the vocational decision as well. I know that uh, when I was a kid, being an altar boy was seen as a, a step toward an interest in the priesthood, and now we have girls work, uh, doing serving as well. Has do you see any impact it, from that? It does make a difference. And even for women uh, choosing to become a woman religious, um, they are also likely to have served as an, as an altar girl or to served as a catechist or a musician in a youth group or in a Newman Center. Active in their parish. All of those faith. things make a difference. Mary Goucher, the co-author of the study at CARA from Georgetown, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.